Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's a new year, new you, and for many people, that includes new weight loss goals. Here to break down some of the most popular diets for 2020 is our resident doctor, Dr. Dave. Hey, Dr. Hey, Dave. Hey, hey. What up, Dr. Happy Dave? Happy New Year, lady. <laughs> All right. Happy, Happy New, new year. year. It's so good to see. But I tell you, looking so fresh. Shop. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Shop. Thank you. Shop. Be so clean, shop. clean. 2020 drip. Little 2020. Yeah, little piece of drip. Little, little, little drippy. Little drip, little drip. Speaking of which, <laughs> the drip from the gravy. Yeah. The drip from the wine. <laughs> Come on now. Well, we had a good time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We ate a lot, so we drank a lot. How do we get back on track? Because some Ooh, people yeah, are like the cold turkey, yeah. and then some people are easing into it, like yours truly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But how do we get back on track? How do we get back? That's a big one, right? You know, yeah. we want a we want a healthy, happy, and prosperous New Year. Yes. Um, you know, the, the the thing is, if you Google this, Rashawn you're gonna get a lot of bad news, yeah. right? They're gonna tell you 80% of people who make New Year's resolutions, what happens? They, they, they fall away. Yeah, what fail. happens to the 20%? I don't know, because I don't make Don't we wanna know about the 20%? They're somewhere winning, I guess. They're somewhere the turning up. The 20% somewhere, every year 20% wins. Right. So how do they win? What's the answer? How to get back on track? Well, so this is this is something that is not talked about. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people across airways all over the, the, the world are gonna mm -hmm. talk about this right. today but not many of them are gonna say 2020 vision. This is more in the hashtag, mm -hmm. that if you don't see it, you can't be it. Exactly. It's, it's really Somebody true. So in, right in, whether that's a relationship, a career, or your health, you, 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 what, you, what you see is what you get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't sure. really visualize yourself at 20 pounds down, 50 pounds down, new biceps, new back, Selena Johnson is a, is a, is a, mm -hmm. a case in point, right? right? right, right. If, she, if right. she didn't see it, I'm arguing that you wouldn't have, That's real you talk. have gotten it. That yeah. is real talk, um, it's and, mental. And so it's really important. So if you're doing a selfie with your friend, you say, oh, don't post that, I'm too fat. Well, guess what you're gonna get? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get some fat, mm -hmm. Hello, right? Somebody. I guarantee you didn't say that to yourself when you went on this, what was it, nine months? Eight, eight and, eight, and a half. Eight, months. eight and a half months of and what you did training. right so we have to start with that number two really important um, if you make these big old jumps mm -hmm. you're weird human nature is not we're, we're not like that yeah mm -hmm. so it's the small but frequent step so I tell yeah. my patients here's what we're gonna do in the new year we're gonna resolve to make frequent small resolutions. Love it, love it. right so that you're not freaking out your, your brain. Your psychology right. goes into chaos. Right. Your physiology goes into chaos when you do that. And guess what happens when people go from a solid diet to a liquid diet? How long do they keep that up? Yeah. Two seconds. You can't do it. Yeah. Right. Two yeah. seconds. So yeah. The people who get on are the people who make those smaller steps and they keep making it. Realistic until they get goals. Yes. Realistic, Realistic goals. Realistic goals. Yeah. You Realistic know, Dr. Goals. Dave, I always say, you know, one of my one of the things that trainers have told me over the years is that you cannot out train bad eating. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Yeah. And so there's so many fad diets out here in yeah. the world. Right. Um, let's just talk about or talk to us about, or talk to our talk to our viewers about the 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 potency of exercise and diet in combination and how they really need to be together. Coming from a case in point yeah. again, yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, saying. if y'all haven't seen her, you've been living under a rock, by the way. <laughs> but I mean, it's a case in point. Do you think, Selena, you could have accomplished what you accomplished in that short period without exercise? Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, so to everybody out there, there are a lot of people who are contemplating you know, losing weight and doing it without exercise because of whatever. You don't like to do it, you don't want to do it, you're, you know. My hair. Right, your hair, that's you a big one, right? Stay with the, that's a huge you know, one. Women that's of color, one. okay. Mm -hmm. um, but the truth of the matter is when people lose that kind of weight, you can do it, right? Mm -hmm. When people lose that kind of weight without exercise, how do they look? They don't look that good. The skin yeah. is, the skin They don't is... look well. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, in, in, in medicine, we see a lot of people who get ill and the illness makes them lose their appetite. How do they look? Mm. They lose a lot of weight, but they don't look well. Yeah. Mm. If you want to look good mm -hmm. and get the innards, you know, get the physiology doing yeah. good, then you have to exercise and, and eat. And yeah, eat. Well, yeah. Well, let's talk about the eating part, because there are a lot of fad diets out there. A so let, let's get to some of the most popular ones. Yeah. Tell us about the, the keto diet. That's a really huge one. Tell us how yeah. that one actually works and its pros and cons. Yeah, so if y'all don't stop with this keto diet, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, you got there some are, people make some people mad, are, diet. I, could, make some, I, I know. Listen, you know how much hate mail I get when, I, when we talk about this? <laughs> I just want you to hear me out on this. Okay, so, so did you guys know that the original keto diet back in the 1920s was developed for kids who had epilepsy. Mm, wow. And it looked drastically different than the modern uh, keto diet. There was a, a lot more carbohydrate in there. Let me tell you what keto is. Keto is plan B for your body. The brain wants glucose, sugar. Mm -hmm. to br it's not gonna use anything else. Your brain doesn't mm -hmm. use protein, it doesn't use fat, it mm -hmm. uses sugar. If there is no sugar, it the brain is like, I got you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go synthesize, I'm gonna make an artificial sugar, and the artificial sugars are ketones, mm -hmm. these ketone bodies. Here's what happens, you get all these ketones, and you know there's a, a physiologic change in your body. 
Well, look, you're going to lose weight. You'll lose weight. But let me tell you something about patients who, or people, right, who have yeah, risk for heart disease, mm -hmm. kidneys, uh, kidney disease, kidneys, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of other diseases. When you take a stuff, let me give you a case in point real quick. Uh, 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 a guy about my age, I'm, I'm, you know, 46 years old, skinnier than me. You think I'm skinny? This guy is skinny, right? Mm -hmm. Keto diet, brought his cholesterol in. His LDL, bad cholesterol by itself, 298. I said, oh, that must be a mistake. Okay, it's a mistake. Wow. Redrew it again, 305. No way. Okay, so you tell me if that's healthy. And he did a keto diet. He was, he didn't have any other problem. He had a family history, which is why he came to see me, right? You know, you gotta get a prevention mm -hmm. screen. Mm -hmm. Keto diet, but mm. what he was doing was adding uh, bulletproof coffee. Ah, that's too that's much. A, you that's weren't giving bulletproof coffee to those kids in 1920 when right. the diet was designed. The yeah. So the problem insane. with the current diets is that they've gotten changed and morphed, uh. and everybody's doing it without figuring out if it worked for them. Right. right. You got to know what's happening in you oh before you God. do this. Right. Ooh. There's some people who can do it. Absolutely. Let's jump into intermittent fasting. Yeah. Um, that's some of that work. I mean, we've got some people on our staff who do it, and yeah. it seems to work for them. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on intermittent fasting? So if you do it right, yeah. um, and it's right for you, mm -hmm. um, then then, then I like it a lot. So intermittent fasting is just really leveraging the fact that in our physiology, insulin. So, you know, a quick biology tutorial, right? Insulin was that hormone that the body releases when um, it needs to take sugar in in, in, in the cells, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the cells use it for energy. Mm -hmm. um, well, your insulin goes up and down like a circadian rhythm, right? The, the intermittent fast says, why don't we eat when the insulin is at its highest? Right. And chill out when the insulin is at its lowest. So we can take it out of circulation and, and burn it and use it mm -hmm. and not store it as, into fat. Mm. If people don't do the intermittent fast wrong, they're eating at 7, 8, 9, 10 at night because they say, yeah, I'm just going to eat in a you know, five or six mm -hmm. hour period. And then they go to bed. What happens? Well, you don't have to have a day of medical school to know you're going to be in trouble if mm -hmm. you go and you store you know, no matter what you eat yeah. overnight. So the intermittent fast is good, but you've got to do it properly. So my recommendation for people who fast is 12 to 6, mm -hmm. and then fast the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have more with Dr. Dave and his 2020 diet roundup when we return. Stay with us. Yeah. I like intermittent fast. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Uh, we are continuing our conversation with Dr. Dave about the 2020 Diet Roundup. Yes. Yeah. yes. Now, Dr. Dave, one of the, the, the diets that's so popular, it get on my nerve, too. Because I've tried it, <laughs> and when you get off so you of already it, it's know a food. What I'm gonna say. Sure. Um, juicing. Yeah. Now, I think yeah. juicing's great, yeah. but <laughs> I think people, just my own opinion, but you tell me what you, you know, tell the world what the truth is. I just think people go too far with juicing. Like, sometimes people are like, I've been juicing for 30 days. I, I don't know about that. And then yeah. they be real slim, but then their skin is not, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not, it's not uh, firm. Yeah. So talk to and us then, about juicing. And then what happens two weeks later when they stop? They didn't gain it all you day. Cannot, it's, it's a phone. Just, it's, un, it's unnatural to, to only juice yes. for, for 30 days like that. You can lose a lot of weight if yeah. you do that. You know, all of the stuff we're going to talk about, you can lose a lot of weight, but is it right for you? Right. There are some people who should not juice. Yeah. You so just how, literally should do how do we find do. out? How do people find out? What, what should they do? to find out what diet is proper, for is them. right for them yeah. and their body. Yeah. You gotta go see to the doctor. doctor. <laughs> My 21 day challenge, that's the first you thing you have to do. go, go see, see a doctor. Doc you have to, because the blood work, you know, your history, all that stuff, it really does it matter. Makes so, the, so, so juicing is, um, um, you know, if you were to start slowly with juicing, because your goal was to lose weight, you're going to Aruba, mm -hmm. right? And you did it in small, steps. remember we said small steps, but more right. frequent, then your body could sort of uh, adapt to that. It depends on what you juice with. If you put a mango, a pineapple, a banana, and, and just a little bit of Granny Smith apple and a, and a, a leaf that's of spinach, a lot of sugar. Well, that's a lot of sugar. Pull so what happens? Sugar. Let's go back to the insulin. Sugar goes way up, up. Yep. insulin drops it down. You are starving. Mm. And so it's, it's not, you, you cannot maintain that. It's just not physiologically um, um, sound. And so I tell people to be very, very cautious with stuff like that. Um, if you're just going for nu uh, you know, nutrients and you do a green, you know, mm -hmm. juice, and you make sure you keep all of the, the particles and the fiber and all that stuff in it. Don't strain it. You know, some of these juices are strained and some of the stuff that's really helpful for us, they strain out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. strain it. Put it in a blender yeah. and drink yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit better. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Or the vitamins. There, there are some, like again, there are a lot of fads and right now it's getting a lot of traction. Yeah. This paleo diet. Paleo. Yeah. How does it work? Yeah, so, so paleo is short for paleolithic. 
the that's Paleolithic too many, well, that's too many yeah. If I can't yeah. pronounce it, I can't the do it. The Stone Age. How about that? <laughs> it's the Stone Age. I mean, it really is, um, you know, the creator said, you know, and this is not new either, right? So they said, you know, let's eat like our ancestors did in the Stone Age, which is really just a lot of, of meat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's some fresh, you know, vegetables and, and fruits and stuff around, but it's a lot of meat. You know, eggs. You know, I don't know what kind of eggs they were eating. Maybe it's, you know, reptile eggs or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, um, but the interesting part is what you cannot have in paleo. So they don't want you to have grains. Mm. You know, you you know, the, you know, whole grains. You know, legumes. They don't want you to have peas. You can't have soy because that's a legume. Um, and so it's really interesting, you know, how you would get some of the really key parts to keep you all around healthy. Yeah. You know, healthy. Mm -hmm. Paleo, you can lose weight. Like all of this stuff, you mm -hmm. can lose weight. There are some people who shouldn't do that. There's some people who shouldn't do paleo. If you've got osteoporosis, if you've got, um, you know, dementia, if you've got uh, cardiovascular high disease, blood mm -hmm. high blood pressure, mm -hmm. um, you really should be asking yourself, is this diet right for me? Not will it just work? Because mm -hmm. Aruba might be fun, but when you come back, they're going to be like, what happened to you? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so be very, very careful with that. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dr. Dave, now this diet is something new for me even. I have never heard of this yeah. diet. The, I don't even know if I'm going to pronounce it right. The Ducan diet? Yeah, Ducan. It's a, it's a, it's a French uh, nutritionist. Ducan, I, I suppose, Ducan. if you want okay, to get fancy. Yeah. All the French speakers would be like, <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, Dr. Dave, that's not how you say it. Um, but essentially what this is, is a um, one of those very low calorie diets, essentially. Um, it, it essentially starts you with only eating meat the, f the first few days. And it's four phases. He's got these little, you know, cute names, like the, the initiation phase is called attack, because you're literally mm -hmm. attacking your system. Just all meat, all protein, and you have to uh, take a, a tablespoon of oat bran. So your only carbohydrate is oat bran. And then over the course of the four phases, you build back in things like vegetables and other um, starchy, you know, vegetables and things mm. like that. And you can lose, depending on how long your attack is, how long the other phases are, you can lose, you know, a lot of weight. Again, you've got to be very, very mindful of your mm. own physiology. Not everybody should Ow. do the Ducan diet, but boy, you know, you can you can lose a lot of weight. Do can do can't. Yeah, right. Yeah. You, 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 okay. right. And, and shouldn't. Some of y'all do so, can't. Right. Yeah. Doctor Dave, <clears throat> what do you like then? Yeah, I mean, I know, right? So, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> well, what's your anyway? Well, who is this? Right. What is this prude? What yeah. does he do? Anyway? Help us out, and, yeah. and what what do you like? Yeah. So you know, I I, I wrote have. down some things that I want people to 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 make sure of. You know, any of these diets work for weight loss if you can keep it up. Mm. The question for you is, should I be doing it? So know thyself and then sort of apply these things in small steps. So I always say on here, see yourself there, continue to see yourself there, not what you see in the mirror, but where you want to see yourself. See yourself going to that size on the, on the, on the rack at, at, at Nordstrom or, you know, whatever it is. But then take these small but frequent steps to get there. And what I tell people is, um, if you take out things like snacks, Right, I mean, you know, I, you know, this is this is a personal story, um, and I was actually here. It was actually when I was looking at the uh, two times before when I was here, and I started getting this. I had gained eight pounds. Now, look, you Ooh. might say, oh, you know, Doctor Dave, you can gain eight, eight pounds. pounds. But for but me, on a man, yes. that looked <laughs> yes. that didn't look so good. And what I was doing, I wasn't eating crap. I was mm -hmm. eating pecans. Uh huh. Bang. I'm, you know, I'm sitting there doing notes and we, you know, taking care of patients. Bang, bang, bang. You know, all of the so it's snacks. I wasn't hungry, but I was snacking on what I was otherwise thinking was good. If you take snacks out, then um, then a lot of your problems, yeah. you know, kind of go away. And then your beverages, right? Mm -hmm. So if what you're drinking has sugar in it, mm -hmm. then y you know you you shouldn't be doing it, right? Right. So it's it's really water-based uh, uh, beverages like that. Got it. Um, I don't try to to tell people not to eat meat unless I'm trying to get them to lose a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. um, things like fish, things like mm -hmm. seafood, things like lean poultry, lean red meat. If you happen to eat mm -hmm. red meat or pork, are a way to go. But at the end of the day. It's all about plants. Yeah. The more plants you eat, I tell people to reverse the way that we typically eat or plan in, uh, in, in, uh, in our society. Plan your meals around your vegetables, mm -hmm. not around the meat that you're going to eat. Got it. Well, Dr. Great Day, advice. you've given us a wealth of knowledge, yes. as always. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And if you want more information on all the great things that Dr. Dave is doing, please check out his preventative care practice at preventatl.com.